so hello everybody today we discuss about rbi has wide supervisor powers over financial institutions like sibi its direction are statutorily binding which is says by supreme court now further we discuss a case law which name is small industries development bank of india versus sibo investment pvt ltd in which quorum is honorable justice r subhash reddy and justice harishikesh roy and the court is supreme court of india in which appellant is small industries development bank of india and the respondent is ms sigbo investment pvt ltd and the da date of judgment on 3rd january 2022 and the fact of case is an appeal was filed by small industries development bank of india against a judgment of the division bench of the calcutta high court whereby the decision of the single judge dismissing the suit of sibco investment pvt ltd was reversed the said suit was filed against small industries development bank of india seeking interest on the alleged belated payment of the principal sum and accrued interest to the plaintiff for the bonds issued by sidb 41 bonds were initially issued by appellant to miss crb capital market ltd in 1993 those bonds were then sold by crb capital to one shankar lal saraf in february 1997 and those in turn were then sold on 1st july 1998 to the respondent of sibco now the issue raised in this case is the issue raised was whether the plaintiff has set forth a just claim based on the bonds issued by the defendant or is it a case of that trial in shakespeare's the merchant of venice where shellock is claiming the promised pound of flesh in the form of interest on delayed payment on the bonds purchased by the plaintiff and the ratio of this case is the supreme court considered the question that whether the facsimile issued by rbi to the appellant was a directive or suggestion the bench looked at section 35a of the banking regulation 1949 which talks about rbi's power to give direction to banking company thus the bench concluded that the rbi's communication in question was a direction with appropriate statutory taking into consideration section 45 mb of the rbi and section 35a of the banking regulation act and the judgment is the appellant was justified in withholding payment as they were under rbi's direction to do so the defendant has not derived any undue benefit by their act and thirdly due payment was promptly made to the plaintiffs upon settlement of rights by the court thank you